Good morning my beautiful people. Welcome back to another moving vlog. So we're starting off the second moving vlog with my first morning in the apartment. I just made myself some oatmeal for breakfast, my classic peanut butter and chocolate protein oats. But I don't have any groceries or anything so this was literally the only breakfast I could make because I just have my dry foods and then some of the condiments that I brought. But I did have almond butter still. So. The plan for this morning is to eat breakfast and then go grocery shopping, my first grocery shop for the apartment. I think I'm also going to do a little Ikea run today and maybe stop in HomeSense, see if I can pick up some bar stools for my table island situation because right now I'm just sitting on the floor on my carpet at my like coffee table because I don't have any chairs. If you didn't watch the first moving vlog or the packing vlog or any of the previous vlogs and you want to get caught up, everything will be linked down below for you guys to go watch. That's kind of the plan for today. Not a whole lot, lots more unboxing to do, lots more unpacking and just really getting settled in to my new place. Here is the little look. We're gonna go grocery shopping now. I'm gonna deal with all this later. I have to deal with all the bathroom stuff. That's actually partly why we're going to Ikea because I need shelves for in here and in the other one so that I can actually stack all my products because before I was used to one of like the mirrors that pulled out and open. But anyways, we are going to go do our first grocery shop in the new home. than you guys are probably used to my grocery hauls. I found an independent city market, literally right down the street, super close, walking distance, amazing. So I could carry more bags if I wanted to, but it seemed that most of the produce was organic, which means it's a lot more expensive. So I didn't get a whole lot. I also just have a smaller fridge now, so I have to get used to that and like how much can actually fit in the fridge, as well as like, I don't have meals planned out. I don't even know what's like in my pantry my brain is just a little bit all over the place so we will have to get used to everything and just get used to grocery shopping down here so it might take me a bit but let's get into the first grocery haul i'm gonna start off with the basics i got bananas the huge got just one big red pepper bag of three mangoes which was actually cheaper than buying two mangoes individually um, so I just got this bag of three and they're actually already all ripe and pretty good and like ready to eat and go So very excited about that because that means I can do my mango banana yogurt bowls because I just got my plain Greek yogurt which was also on sale So very happy about that I also have to get used to like Toronto prices because it's a little bit more expensive to grocery shop here I got just one tilapia and then we got some tofu chicken breasts so that's kind of my protein situation for the moment I got a giant red cabbage because it was pretty cheap and then last but not least a giant thing of spinach I was trying to find the smaller containers of spinach but I could only find the organic ones and the organic small ones were more expensive than the big of just the regular ones which I normally buy and for some reason they didn't have the small ones of the regular PC that is my grocery haul that is everything I know it's really small like it's literally like six or seven things so all this together cost 35 dollars which i'm i'm okay i'm okay with that because i got so much chicken tilapia tofu and then a giant thing of spinach is normally a little bit more expensive so not bad i'm gonna put this in the fridge and organize it with the few things that i already had in the fridge and then we are gonna go meet up with alan and head to ikea
I actually do have a lot more space than I thought I did. I still have this shelf fully empty, this shelf and this shelf mostly empty. And then I still have room for some condiments up there, but this is the current organization going on. So fruits and veggies, just stuff, some stuff that I had left over from home as well. from our little errands afternoon. We got a thing of stuff from HomeSense, giant thing of stuff from Ikea as well. The bar stools were not a success, but let me show you guys everything that I got. Starting off with the things from HomeSense, I got a set of matching bath mats. So a giant one for the bathroom that has the tub and then just a small one that is the same for the shower in the other washroom. Got a shower caddy because the washroom didn't have anything for toiletries and stuff. So got just a basic black mat one. And then I also picked up this basket. I was thinking of putting in my yoga mats, my foam roller and any other like home workout equipment in here just so it's all kind of contained and set away. From Ikea, we'll start. I picked up two wine glasses. We're only $4 each. So I just wanted to have a set of two basic ones for now. I also picked up a set of containers to put some more products and organize it underneath because I don't have shelves anymore in the bathroom, which I'm really sad about. So I'm trying to find an organizational system that'll work. So we're gonna start with these bins and go from there. I picked up this bin that also has a lid. I don't know if I'm actually going to use the lid, but it's a bit of a bigger bin for some taller products. Picked up just a basic new plain cutting board. Cutlery organizer. I really hope that this fits well. If not, I'll have to find something else. A little dish scrubby brush. And then two of these shelves for underneath the bathroom cabinets again just for more organization to give me some more space i might have to go back and get more baskets more shelves whatever but i figured i'd just get two for now and go from there start unpacking things and organizing and just like figure it out as i go so that is everything that i got for the haul but for probably the rest of the afternoon i'm going to unpack start unpacking things into the washroom <laughs> Right, without a screwdriver and nearly half an hour later I put together this thing somehow mm, okay I might need to put it on the other side there we go how perfect is that I 
thought I'd do a little bathroom organization update. Let me show you guys what I've gotten done. I don't know if it'll stay like this, but right now this is the main bathroom that I'm using even though it is the guest bathroom. It's the one closer to my bedroom. But I set up my little dishes here, so toothbrush, soaps, and then some everyday products. Down here, this isn't quite done yet, but we have just some miscellaneous taller perfume, lotions, other kind of random stuff, like period products. There's nothing in here yet because I need to find some products to put in there. And then down here, I just did towels. So then in this washroom right now, on the counter, there isn't much. I have a box of things that I need to put away and then hand soap. Just because this washroom, I haven't decided what I'm doing with. In here, I have hair products, skincare things that I don't necessarily use every day, and then products that I haven't gotten to yet. And then down here, have all of my styling tools and hair brushes, as well as some bath products, because this is the bathroom with the tub and then some toothpaste and other like whitening products that I have. All right, we are making our first dinner in my new place. We decided to do a pasta tonight. We're doing a chicken sun-dried tomato pasta situation because I knew I had spaghetti and then we ran out and quickly grabbed a few ingredients that we needed. first dinner in the new place we just have some pasta we got some wine going and dinner with a view good morning you guys third day in the new home it's a little cloudy out today but this morning I'm going to go ahead and do a workout I am NOT venturing out into going to find good lives nearby yet or even just finding another gym. I am literally just going to go to my condo gym this morning because there is a free weights squat rack. I've literally been waking up so much earlier here than when I woke up at home. Like it's only 7.30 right now, but we are going to go work out now. Just wearing this little White Fox active set. I feel like you guys know this set by now. I've worn it a good few times. It's one of my favorites, but let's head downstairs to the gym. green than green this morning because I added a little bit of extra spirulina and then I also added protein and flax to add a little bit of extra nutrients because you guys know that previous to me moving out I was really trying to just stay on top of my healthy eating get back into my habits again using fabulous so if you are new here I've worked with fabulous before and today's video is in partnership with them so a big thank you to fabulous for partnering with me on today's video 
but they are a habit tracker app. They really just help you to stay on track and form good habits. If you really struggle to form habits, build routines, this is the app for you. I honestly love it so much because it's such a positive reinforcement. It's honestly so cute. It gives the cutest little reminders, daily inspo, and again, it just helps you form those good habits. Fabulous is also a digital coach and happiness trainer. It was developed by Duke University, which I mentioned before that I love that, especially being a university student. I love seeing universities do such beneficial things like creating an app like this. But I will leave all the details to Fabulous down below in the description box where my link will also be for you guys to get 25% off the premium version of Fabulous, which is the version that I use and I currently have. So again, a big thank you to Fabulous for partnering with me on today's video. But from the time that I worked out to the time that I made my smoothie, it has gotten kind of gloomy and rainy out. We are currently in a bit of a cloud. It's kind of like misting and raining. But today, not too much is happening. I was thinking of looking for some stools online. I'm thinking the gloominess of today kind of just calls for a little bit of online shopping. My main thing that I'm looking for right now is stools that I can get like ASAP. So I might look at Facebook Marketplace. I've been looking at like Structube, CB2, Buclair, just to see kind of what's around. I think I've mentioned before, but I do completely want to renovate the kitchen. So whatever stools that I get are kind of just an intermediate like thing for the table that I have right now. So I'm trying to find something that I like that isn't too expensive because I know it's not going to be there long term. And then I'm going out to grab coffee with Yaz later. So I really hope that the weather clears up and that it's not so gloomy and rainy because I really don't feel like going out in the rain. But that's currently what's up. I might try and also unbox some clothes before I have to go out. We'll just kind of see where the day takes me. One thing that I have ordered so far that actually is supposed to arrive today is my new dishes and flatware. I'm really excited. I ordered like this speckledy kind of white colored new plates, bowls, everything, and then matte black flatware that's supposed to be delivered today. So I'm really hoping it comes so I can unbox it and show it to you guys. Um, but other than that, let me show you the stools that I was looking at from Buclair. I really like them, but they're a little bit more than I would like to spend. But I think that they go with the kitchen really, really well. There are these black matte legs with a taupe seat. I feel like right now I kind of have other black things that are matte in the kitchen and then the taupe brown feel like this really goes but they are still almost $300 before tax so quite a bit for just two stools that aren't going to be there that long but I'm going to keep looking around on other online sites as well as do some Facebook marketplace digging to see if there's anyone similar to this on Facebook marketplace like my goal would be around $200 total so I really like these Buclair ones but $300 before tax so more like $350 is just a little bit out of the price range right now here is the going to grab coffee look for the day. I might come running back when our hearts get back on track. When the stars line up, that's that. I've been attached, just looking out. We move so fast, was moving south. My secret sauce, move in and out. Miss how you gloss that pretty mouth. back for my little coffee date with Yaz and thought we'd do a little unboxing. First up we have this big one from Righteous Gelato. I'm so excited for this. They just launched some new flavors. This is like perfect for the new house, like christening the new house with delicious gelato. We love. Okay, so first up we have cookies and cream, and then we also have coffee, coffee, coffee. Okay, delicious, love both of those. Let's see what's in this one.
Okay, this is something that I actually can't show you guys yet. <laughs> and then this last box. <gasps> Yay! Okay, this is my stuff from Fable Home. I'm so excited for this. This is not everything that I got from Fable Home yet, but so cute. Yay, okay, so this is all of my cutlery or flatware. These are what the matte black flatware look like. They're still like shiny even though they're matte. I am obsessed, that's so pretty. So I decided to pull the trigger and I got the little taupe and black metal stools for the counter. I actually ended up finding a coupon code that saved me some money, so not too bad. For the rest of the afternoon, my plan is actually to deal with my bedroom closet, this little guy in here. I've decided that I'm gonna put all my dresses, which are mostly in this suitcase, in this closet because I don't have that many dresses or long things to hang, but I wanted all of my long hanging things in this small one so that they're all together. No, this ain't the time for the two of us. Ooh, I ain't got space to be thinking about you. Close that, love it when you toss it back, love it when you talk back. Girl, you get me off track, so off white track so just so I could floss, yeah. With my new bitty sheen, let my soft, yeah. Could have been you, still feeling on my ditty, but you lost that. You had real privileges for this. All right, here's the closet reveal so far. Just the one side. I don't think this is all of my dresses. I feel like there's more dresses somewhere in another suitcase. But so far, this is what we got going on. I'm eventually probably going to fill my jean baskets and put them back up here, as well as stack some thick, chunky sweaters, I'm thinking, up there. Today is a no makeup day because it is a full, solid work day. My plan for the day is to try and get all the rest of my clothes unboxed. The last two days, I wasn't really vlogging because I was just playing a lot of catch up with work and then just like kind of settling in. But honestly, I unboxed nothing for the past two days. And my dad is coming over this evening to finally help me put up and install the new light up there. He's also going to install a new shower head and he's just coming over to help me with a few things tonight. So before he comes over, the plan is to get as many things unboxed, bins empty and things put away as possible but I feel like I've taken enough dilly-dallying with it now. I've taken my time, I've had a few days. I just wanna get all of the boxes and bins out of here so that I can like start, you know, finding what furniture and stuff I need and like actually furniture shopping or like getting rid of some of my old furniture and like making this place more my home. Let me take you through what needs to be done because it is a lot. Welcome to the clothing mess, literally all of these boxes suitcases are clothes and so are the ones in there i'm gonna move my mirror out into the kitchen area put it somewhere over there but i'm gonna kind of clear a path so i can start unboxing stuff back into the drawers putting things away in the closet and move the clothing rack somewhere probably over here it's just a lot that needs to be done today before my dad gets here so let's get to it oh, update we got these two suitcases empty so we have this drawer full this drawer full and then this drawer like half full because this drawer was overflowing before and then some of this drawer filled with like bras and stuff and then over here for now i just put some things that were in those suitcases that need to be hung up in the closet over here just so they're away and like i'll get hangers and put them up later Time for the two of us. I ain't got 
space Thinking about you We emptied another full bin. That's all purses, so I still don't know what's happening with that. And mostly emptied this suitcase. This is also a lot of just pants and stuff that I don't have clothing hangers before because I had a clothing pant rack at my old place. And then, so this is what we've got done for the closet. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to organize it, but doing good so far. It's mostly like over shirts and blazers that were in that bin, so. This is kind of the first closet situation. I really want to get something to put up here because there is literally so much space for stuff as well as some rack organization system down here because there's also so much space because I'm putting everything shorter in this closet and dresses and longer things are in the other closet. We'll go to Ikea and probably figure it out. All right, dad just got here. So he's gonna help me put up the light and then we're also doing some of the, we're re -caulking this guy because the previous owners didn't do a great job so dad's gonna fix it up for me My dad brought over this little plant that my real estate agent got me. This little succulent cactus and these little birdies and he set it up here and I thought that that just looked so cute. I might just leave it there for now. But boxes everywhere still but we finished installing the new light. I'm honestly obsessed with it. It's so much bigger than the other one and I feel like it really fills up the space a bit better. But I'm going to end off this second moving vlog here. I hope you guys are enjoying the moving series. Stay tuned for the next moving vlog because there's still so much to be done in the apartment. I'm going to keep the moving series going, but I will see you guys in the next one. And I love you all so much. Bye.